Hey guys, what's up, Zach? It's today we are back with F1 2014 Co-op Career Mode. Here are the qualifying results for Monaco. You can see I start 4th and Will starts in 10th place. So a pretty decent qualifying there for Williams, but obviously I've got some decent pace there to hopefully go ahead and maybe get a good result here in the race here today. And we've got plus 2 laps fuel as well, so hopefully that's going to be good for us and hopefully that can mean that we can get anywhere near the top 3. But anyway, let's just see down to turn 1, where are we going to be looking? Well, Hamilton is in the lead currently, we've got Alonso down our inside, we've got a squeeze between two people there. And managed to get up between, I think, Vettel as well, you get past Vettel as well. Up into second place, they're now challenging Lewis Hamilton here for the lead of this Monaco Grand Prix. How amazing would it be to lead the Monaco Grand Prix in our Williams here today? And obviously we need to do a good result here today because we're so far down in the championship order after some bad results recently this would definitely help us out to even get on the podium here today in Monaco now down into the hairpin very very hard to get through there without any contact on the first lap but we managed to do it and uh, continuing in our second position which is good now up to the tunnel part of the track where I've got to say it's very very cool in the race because they're so so loud <laughs> through, through the tunnel the car is just so so loud and it's pretty cool and all the echoing and everything now down, down here this is the, one of the hardest part of the track to get right you can see I'm sliding all over the place here I try not to get into the back of Hamilton I maybe gained a bit of time through it but managing to not crash into him so that's a good good part about that uh, getting towards the last sector of the lap here, you can see we're very, very close to Hamilton. Three tenths of a second between me and Hamilton. Taking out the bollard there, but obviously it doesn't really matter too much as long as we don't corner cut to get in front of him. Trying to go around the outside of Hamilton here into the final couple of turns. That isn't going to work. Now, can we get a good run down here on the main straight? Well, we've hit the wall ever so slightly on the outside here, but we're going to get the slipstream down into turn one. It's not going to really help out too much, but down into the braking zone, we're going to be able to go through turn one quite well. A little bit of a corner cut there, you can say. Well, obviously, it says at the top of the screen, but we managed to go side by side here with Lewis Hamilton. We're going to manage to make the move. I think we're going to go around the outside, are we? Yes, we've managed to somehow squeeze ourselves around the outside of Lewis Hamilton there and manage to take the lead of this Monaco Grand Prix. Skip over to lap 10, and a bit of wondering, Kobayashi in second? Well, basically, all the guys behind me are pitted pretty much, and basically, uh, Kobayashi and Vern, I think, are the only two guys that haven't pitted so far. So, I'm on to lap 10 here. I haven't pitted, so we're going to be peeling into the pit lane this lap and hopefully retaining the lead of this Monaco Grand Prix. You can see it ever so slightly raining here. Now, what we're going to be doing? Well, we're going to put on the prime tyres there. I personally, I don't think it's time for the intermediate all the wet conditions tyres yet. Definitely need to wait a little bit longer for those to be anywhere near good enough to be used on this track. So we're going to put on those prime compound tyres. Uh, prime, I always say that, uh, prime tyres, which this time are the soft compound tyres. I always keep messing that up. Anyway, so Kobayashi is going to be second place in this race, but thankfully he's going to be holding up the rest of them. So that's going to be good for me. Kobayashi just holding up the rest of the field and he's still not pitted because he must have started on the prime. So he's going to be going to about lap 13, 14 on those tyres maybe. So... He's going to be holding them up for a couple more laps there, which is really good for me. And uh, hopefully this means that we're going to be continuing on to win this race. I think Will, you saw a minute ago, is down in 10th place. See, I think he got spun around by one of the AIs. So basically he fell down to last place. He fought his way back through the field. And at this current time, I think he's in about 10th place. So he's definitely looking to get up through the field and maybe just maybe do something special maybe get himself onto the podium as well but it really just depends about strategy as well because you can see the rain is coming down and um, it's really challenging stuff but unfortunately for Will that's not really what happened if we skip ahead to lap 17 you can see here it is starting to rain quite heavily here so what Will decides to do is come to the pit lane and put on the intermediate conditions and we thought that's pretty that's a pretty sensible idea because the AI are probably going to do that as well and you can see we've got an 11.7 second gap here. And I'm, at this point, I'm like, I've got to, con you know, I've got to keep going because I'll probably be able to fend them off if they pit and, you know, go around. But you can see down to turn one, they're locking up a huge amount, losing probably about two odd seconds. And skipping ahead to the end of the race here, Will, unfortunately for him, nobody else pitted. So basically, Will was just struggling around on intermediate tyres. He was so fast, but nobody pitted in front of him, so he just obviously lost a lot of time there. So. I'm very slow through these final couple of corners, I'm like, just don't spin. I lost, what, 12 seconds in the last, like, three or four laps there. And really, it was just about being cautious and getting towards the end of the race here. I had the, I probably had the pace to still win by, like, 10 or seconds, but I was like to myself, don't crash. You've got the win in the bag here, so there's no need to do anything silly. That's exactly what I did. I managed to bring home the race and get first position there. There really wasn't that much exciting stuff from my point of view. That's why this video may be a bit shorter than usual. That's why it's probably about, I think it's going to be about seven minutes, eight minutes long. So, yeah, sorry, it's a bit shorter than normal, this video. But 
there really wasn't a lot of action going on, so there's no point wasting your guys' day by making this video longer than it needs to be. So here we are. There is the timing and the live timing, which is the race result. So I won, then Hulkenberg in second, then Vettel, Rosberg, Hamilton, Ricardo, Raikkonen, Perez, and Magnussen. And then Grosjean are your point scorers here today. Obviously, they all bunched up towards the end because I was going so slowly. Um, Button outside the top 10. Kuvia outside the top 10. Obviously, Will is outside the top 10 as well, which is not good for him. So, yeah, overall, a bit of an interesting race. Not a huge amount of action, but that's just how it all went down. You see everybody finishing up on prime tyres as well. And uh, Hamilton dropping from pole down to fifth there, which isn't too good for him. And here are the driver standings here today. So you can see Will has definitely dropped himself down the order quite a bit by not performing in that race. So he's fifth place now in the standings. Uh, Ricardo's in fourth. I'm in third. Uh, Vettel's in second. So you can see their second place down to fifth, separated by six points. So that's very good. Nice to see the championship quite close there. Hamilton in the lead by quite a margin there. You can see 13 points over Vettel. And 15 points over me. But I think it's, de it's definitely still doable, this championship. I think we've still got a good chance uh, going for this championship. And uh, in all honesty, guys, I think we'll definitely bounce back in the next race. Obviously, Canada is a good track for all of us. Uh, me and Will, both very good at uh, Canada in terms of some of the tracks. We're, like, for example, Spain, we're both bad at. Uh, Montreal or Canada, we're both pretty decent at. So I think we'll we'll do a pretty good performance there in Canada. And for Will's sake, he'll hopefully uh, get himself back into the points. And I'll hopefully maintain my good form from um, this race here today. And you can see looking down the order as well. Quite big gaps starting to emerge. You can see Rosberg and uh, Magnussen quite a big gap opening up there. 21 odd points. And it's, just, it's weird actually to see Rosberg quite far down the order there. And look at this, the constructors. Look how close that is. Four points separating the top three in the championship. And it's surprising that Red Bull are leading it. And Mercedes are in second there. And obviously we're in third. I guess because we didn't win as many races as Mercedes. But that's why we're in um, that's why we're in third, not second. I'm not too sure. A little bit confusing. Especially because Caterham are in eighth ahead of like Sauber. Even though Sauber have got like 11th place for results and stuff. I don't know. But anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate you guys watching the video as always. And until next time, it's Panax Goodbye.